Gang, let's do a reading. Time and the texo technosphere, the law of time in human affairs, incredibly important. Jose Arguelles, PhD, author of the Mayan Factor. And the one thing I'll mention about this uh, that I learned and I applied because this is what, something that Robert Anton Wilson has written about and talked about a lot, is that people do a lot of readings about how to improve your life, how to understand the world, how to, how to, how to, how to, do, how to do a shift in your life perspective and get a deeper meaning of life and meditate and all this jazz. And he mentioned, Robert Anton Ma Wilson mentioned this, that a lot of people read a lot of books, right? That they have exercises that you have to do but they don't do those exercises so they don't get a deeper meaning they really don't understand what the books are talking about and one thing that i learned from this book from jose Arguelles, and this is why i picked this book and this was extremely important i don't agree with everything on here because i'm a geophysicist and he talks about some geophysical properties of the earth and stuff that i totally disagree with however one of the greatest things i learned from this book okay one of the greatest things i've ever learned was Jose Arguelles in this book mentions that time is a perspective. It's a it's a sort of an induced uh, sort of a uh, uh, not a natural. We don't function on a natural time cycle. It's something that's brought on by centralized power, meaning the twenty four hour clock. Right, it throws you out of your natural uh, frequency. Right. So what Jose Arguelles recommended in this book was to remove all clocks from your visual line of sight. And at the time, because I was teaching at students coming in, I had a clock on my wall that I could always see the time. Right. And I had different clocks, different places. So after reading this, I and I was exploring with Salvia Divinorum, I realized that time was sort of a fictitious concept to a certain degree. It's just a as and applying my physics what i know about physics and mathematics i consider time to be really just a property of matter right and salvia divinorum just shattered that because it eliminated matter blah 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 going down a rabbit hole right but he recommended eliminate time don't constantly look at your clock your clocks or your watch and i used to wear a watch after reading this book i took all my watches and i put them in a box and i have them i haven't worn a watch since for like 24 years right 23 years whatever it is right i stopped wearing a watch because of this book okay because of this book and once i removed the all clocks from my line of sight and i intentionally rarely ever looked at the clock on my computer okay I can't eliminate it for some reason. Back then, I couldn't. Maybe I did. I can't remember. I intentionally, like I, the tab in the bottom, I, it's always hidden, right? I intentionally stayed away from it. I think at one point, I put tape over where the clock was, right? And all of a sudden, there was a time shift in my perspective of life and how I functioned. It was beautiful. It was a good experiment, okay? I highly recommend i highly recommend <laughs> look how crazy it's contagious 2024 uh electric railway uh do you use a calendar how would you uh typically get notified about an appointment um i just knew at a certain time where my appointments were my students were if i had an appointment that i had to be there a certain time for sure i would be there at time and i'm i'm good i'm punctual i'm there on time right but when i didn't have an appointment when i didn't have to do anything right other than let my want, mind wander do some work or whatever it is if i didn't have to connect with anyone i didn't have the time clock constantly reminding me what time it was i didn't need it if i needed to be there a certain time i looked at the clock am i going to be late am i on time but aside from that i didn't have a clock that i always looked at always looked at what time is it what time is it what time is it All right it it was really brilliant it was really uh, really brilliant okay 
Idea from Jose Agrales, Electric Railway. Very interesting idea. Idea from Jose Agrales. I stopped wearing a watch. I used to love wearing a watch. I don't wear a watch. I'm very happy that I stopped wearing a watch. It's brilliant. Okay, it's brilliant. Okay, gang. With that intro, let's read. Let's read. Let me check the clock right now. <laughs> let's read. Time and the Technosphere by Jose Agrales. What page are we going to read? What page are we going to read? 